Okay guys, what we're looking at here, again, another 427 Twin Turbo LS. These, seems, these suckers seem to be really popular these days with us. Got a big water to air intercooler. It's gonna be a standing mile car. Some of our custom stainless headers. Into the big tile 60, we did an exhaust where the wastegate exits into the exhaust and out, out of the side of the car. Some custom fuel regulator regulation. Our billet throttle body and snout. Kind of a neat little drive system from Wigner. And uh, another 427 down, down and done. 1570 horsepower at only 25 pounds of boost. Pretty darn respectable. Again, here we have our mirror image turbochargers. If you notice, it's a full billet wheel. That's a lot of years of figuring out combinations of wheel trims right there. We've got a special divided exhaust housing with the custom AR ratio. You can water cool the turbo, ball bearing or bushing, but of course, what makes it so trick is that you've got a counter rotator. Clockwise and counter clockwise rotation. Just do not see that. We've got patent on it. And uh, most of all, they make freaking insane power. So that's the beauty of it. foot-pounds at the start of the pull, 857 foot-pound peak, 949 horsepower, 10 pounds of boost, really nice air-fuel ratio in the 11s. foot-pounds, 1107 horsepower, 14 pounds of boost in the 11s, nice and steady. Horsepower, 16 pounds. Twelve hundred and ninety seven foot pounds, fourteen hundred and thirty nine horsepower, twenty two pounds of boost. Five foot pounds, 1574 horsepower climbing at only 24 pounds of boost. And do you know what's the max RPM on it? It's still got a lot of RPM, you can see. If you go to the graph, that's horsepower. See how it's still climbing at 63? So it's got more left in it, it's just. How do you know? What, how, what knows it? There's a water break. It measures torque. So that's, that's peak torque. And then 
that's multiplied by a conversion factor to, to get horsepower. So when torque starts dropping off faster than it is gaining horsepower is when you know you that's it. All the dyno does is measure torque, really, and then it converts to horsepower. All these gauges that you see, these are raw. These are uncorrected. So it's just measuring raw, and then it gets corrected for air temperature and, you know, all, the, all this shit, relative humidity and shit like that. 